Hello and welcome to this year's first edition of Hoosier Quick Hits. We're here at Memorial Stadium where IU opened the season against Southern Illinois. And what a tale of two halves it was. After trailing 32 to 21 at halftime, Coach Wilson brought the team into the locker room, regrouped them, and sent them a strong message which paid off as the Hoosiers came out strong in the third and went on to win the game 48 to 47. And I said, can I just say something real quick? Would you just slow down, play one play, Take a deep breath. Can't change what happened. What are you doing next? And like I say, we did. And we were pretty good in the third quarter until we gave up a couple big plays in the fourth quarter. So it wasn't a, we made some adjustments that helped, but really just calmed down. Coach Wilson definitely came in and talked to us, told us to go play by play, one play at a time. And I think that's what the defense did and the offense also. So we took our time and played well. That was a good football team. Um, and you know what? They gave us their best shot. and. Uh, it was a good game, but uh, you know, there's there's a lot of things positive to take from this game. That offensively, we did pretty well. The pass protection was unbelievable. I didn't really get sacked or really hit the whole game, which was awesome. And then uh, the running game, you know, those running backs are really really good. And then uh, you know, I just think we you always make your most improvement from game one to game two. That's the theory, and I really believe in that theory. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I really think. I mean, there's no negatives if we learn from things. And tonight's season opener also marked Nate Sudfeld's first game back after his shoulder injury ended his season early in 2014. Let's toss it over to Brandon Farkas, who has more analysis of Sudfeld's performance. Thanks, Tyler. IU starting quarterback Nate Sudfeld returned to the playing field for the first time in nearly 11 months, and the much-anticipated wait did not disappoint. Sudfield threw for nearly 350 yards and even got it done on the ground, totaling for 46 yards. Sudfeld talked about how it was great getting back in real game mode and how he will slowly but surely get confidence moving forward. Yeah, they were a little nervous before the game, just kind of, like I said before, get that first hit, which was nice to get. But the body felt really good, and I, was, um, I didn't feel very rusty. I felt kind of like in the flow of the game pretty well. So. Um, yeah, thought we did some good things offensively. Yeah, we got to protect Nate. He's got to protect himself, but you got to make him defend the field, defend every player, and that was good to see. He's good to get the tight ends, a couple catches, good to get the backs in the pass game. Nate played well, and he's going to have a great year. Lately, Sudfield has become Indiana's unquestioned leader, and being the commander of the offense requires not being afraid to voice your opinion when necessary. In the season opener against SIU, the IU quarterback was vocal on the sidelines to allow the coaches to hear his perspective in regards to the Saluki's defense. He was pretty demanding on the sidelines. Like he got like, I want this and this. What, what we did in practice, they're, they're, di they're, they're lining up differently. I don't want that. Give me this one, give me this one. And it was, it was good. And it was very calm. You know, it was like, hey, just give me boom, boom. You know, I see, here's what I see, here's what I want, let's do it. And he was right on. Uh, I just know what I like a lot more. And uh, I was not afraid to tell Coach Wilson or Coach Johns um, just what I saw out there and what, what routes I wanted to get um, out there. And we were just, it was a very good working relationship with all three of us, kind of, you know, what we're seeing and what we want to attack. And they were listening to me, which I really appreciated. So, yeah, I was just kind of seeing, I mean, I had the best point of view of, of all of them, and they, they trust my, uh, you know, my say, so it was cool. Well, that does it for us here at Memorial Stadium as we wrap up our first edition of Hoosier Quick Hits for the 2015 IU football season but be on the lookout for our first episode of Hoosier Sports Night coming out this Wednesday on September 9th also we'll be at next week's game as the Florida International Panthers travel up north to Bloomington for a night game 8 p.m. kickoff there but for now, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at IUSTV Sports. For Tyler Ratz, I'm Brent Farkas. Thanks for watching.